We yeah, we are. We are. We are. Am I am I showing up? You are. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think we're good to go this time. All right. No more tests. You, you're positive. We're good. We're good to go. Yeah, I think we think we're good. All right. <laughs> I'm excited. All right. So here we go. All right. All right, guys. Welcome to Otaku Puppy Bark 16. We are trying this one more time. We are here with Mike Fallick. 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 Mike Fallick, also known as the Red Wizard. Thank you for being here. No problem. I like that you because because you made it genuine to make it seem like oh no we, we're not do we didn't have a technical difficulty. Oh yeah. I, I don't I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Like, like, you know, <laughs> it made it legitimate. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Now, I'm uh, doing great. Great, great is always good. <laughs> great, great is always good. That's something that like an old person can say. Yeah. And then and then people think it's wise, and you're like, that wasn't wise. That was barely a sentence. Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense, really. <laughs> <laughs> I have a guy in my apartment building who always says it's it's good to be good, which is a quote, but he says it all the time. Yes. Yeah, I, mean, I guess that's that's true. I guess it's good to be good, but yeah. Make it, um, make it old fast. <laughs> yeah, you said it in the spur of the moment, but this guy is his. It's his go-to. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm hearing myself back on, on here. Um, let me see. Are we all right? Yes, yeah, we good. How about now? I think I'm okay. Okay. I think I'm just screaming. <laughs> all right, and we're still recording. Beautiful. So, so what? Now, now I feel like, like this is better. Now, now I feel like we know each other. Yeah. We we know we, we know what anime things, things we like, and we can get it into into different stuff or the same stuff. stuff. It's, it's all good to me. Different different stuff is fine with me. All right. Now, now let, let me think of some different stuff, stuff than our first conversation. conversation. So, uh, so wait. I guess, I guess we talked about. Uh, I'll sum up what we talked about the first time. We were talking about. This is my one good point that I do want to bring up again. Is I was saying we were talking about. Dot hack sign and sort out online, and you were saying uh, one a uh, 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 creator of a series much like that yeah. just got arrested. Yeah, right. Whoa, what is that noise? Oh, that was that was a truck going down the street. Okay. Oh my goodness, I thought I angered the recording. Oh no, no, no. Um, uh, he uh, uh, so and then I said I think that we have to stop comparing dot hack sign and ghost in the shell. And uh, the and, and, and all these things, things and like the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah, yeah. Because I think there is now a genre of you got stuck in a virtual reality. I think it's a new genre of stuck in a virtual reality type anime. I think we need to just start recognizing that. And, but I'm sorry, go on. Like, yeah, I mean you're not wrong. It's it's definitely becoming a bigger part of anime, and I think people are people are accepting it slowly but surely. I think I think anime fans are always accepting of you know it's amazing that I think people will will find this frame of reference uh, to be a thing. It's only recently that uh, I mean in terms of cinema history, it's only recently that we've recognized you know mechs as its own genre. There was an era where robots were just in sci-fi movies. Now we recognize that as its own genre, and I think the same has to be done for virtual reality, especially you're stuck in a virtual reality thing because I mean. With virtual reality getting bigger now, you got like game companies now making virtual reality games. It's it's a possibility that people could get stuck in the game, and then what happens once you're stuck there? Right. I think I think what you'll see first is um, if we're being really ridiculous and we're being very. If we want to be sci-fi authors rather than sci-fi media commentators, I think what you'll end up seeing first is not people actually stuck in uh, uh, virtual reality, but once social media starts to move on to VR, you'll see people being really, you know, thinking their virtual reality lives are, are very important. And they themselves might not be stuck there, like physically, but you'll see avatars get, oh, hold on, I hear myself. You'll see avatars get stuck in virtual reality worlds and people will be upset by it. I, I think that'll definitely happen yeah, really quick. You're right. And, and I mean, you get things like Second Life and those kind of already virtual games that people already kind of get sucked into anyway so it's just it'll just be like a cut off of that did you ever play second life i've never actually played it i have not i have i know i have friends who played second life i've never tried it 
See, I see, think, I think I, that I, 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 I have always tried to. I've, 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 said, I've said this is on record. I've said I'm saving World of Warcraft for my retirement yeah. because, because I know, I know, I, know I will get. I've, 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 I've seen people play. I know as soon as I start, it will really be. It'll be a problem. You'll be stuck in it all day, every day. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I have no problem, problem with that. That, that sounds amazing. amazing. I, want I want nothing more in life than to do that. But I'm, I'm a young man. man. Yeah. I, I have to resist <laughs> something from nerd culture. Yeah, you, you have to sometimes do <laughs> every now and then. So, 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 so I, I, I really am very indulgent, very indulgent for the most part, but that's the one thing that I can't do. But this was my long-winded way of, on the last, on our first try at this, I recommended The Hobbit to people, but uh, the, the, the Ralph Bakshi Hobbit, but screw that recommendation, have you ever seen The Animatrix? I have not. You should really watch The Animatrix. It is a great, great little series. Uh, the Wachowskis, uh, I know they did the story direction of it. In other words, that both... You, both oh, what happened there? Are we good? Yeah, that's my phone. Sorry about that. Okay. No, it's okay. I like fun noises like that. I like... I like. I don't like ringtones that are very, like, uh, you know, like, like they're just the Michael Jackson song. I like the little beeps and boops everyone makes now. Yeah, I had, I had a Pikachu uh, ringtone at one point, but yeah. <laughs> That's but Pikachu is mostly a beep and a boo. True, true. Um, uh, the Animatrix is is canon to the stories, and um, I love all the Matrix movies. And once you see the Animatrix, all those dumb conversations that you hear with people talking about how the Matrix isn't good or questions they have about the Matrix. Right. You know, all the plot holes, quote-unquote, people that think there are in The Matrix, there are none. The Animatrix totally covers everything. Like, it's a really solid universe. The Matrix is actually one of the most solid uh, universes uh, um, that there are. In fact, the Futurama pointed out in, in one of their episodes that humans wouldn't make good sources for energy. And so The Matrix is stupid. But... If you watch the Animatrix, they explain that um, the humans were not kept alive really for energy, but as pity, that robots saw humans as sort of angry pets, that they were they were stupid, and, and that they, they, they pitied them, so they kept them alive out of just feeling bad for them. So it, it kind of bridges the gap and it kind of fills you in on what's actually going on in the Matrix. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's it's some, it's really, some really great anime. Great anime. I want I want those people who has watched the Matrix, but is always confused by it. It's totally, it's totally confusing yeah. without the Animatrix. <laughs> okay. I, I will definitely be definitely be looking it up. They they uh they are one of the few people to take um take uh, take, uh, uh the, the, the the multimedia thing very seriously. The Wachowski family wrote the story uh, and supervised the story and agreed to the, the canon of not only the Matrix, not only the Animatrix, but the video game and the comic books that they made are all uh, canon and all part of the, the universe and are not, there is no extended universe. It is all a part of, of the canon. Oh, now, I have played bits and pieces of the games. Yeah. And, I mean, they're, they're, not, they're not bad games to be based off of a movie. They're not bad. Because they're awesome. Because, right, I know in the game what you do is um, there are several missions they talk about in the movie where you're, you know, um, like, for example, uh, um, Jada Smith has to shut down the power plant. And you never get to see that. But she does successfully shut down the power plant. Right. And, and in order so that... Uh, Oh, oh man, I you know, you know what? what? I, I forgot, forgot how nerdy, nerdy these things, things are. are. That <laughs> is one of the <laughs> the nerd <laughs> things that people ignore. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dorky. People see it as just a normal action movie. It is so so so. Let me go into full dork mode. Uh, go right, Neil, right has here. To, Neil has to get into the has to shut down the power so the key master can use his key, and you get to play that mission, right? Yeah, yeah. Great, Great stuff. stuff. Just, just uh, it's a it's a brilliant, a brilliant way to do multimedia things. Yeah, and it, it's, it's small stuff like that that makes the Matrix kind of its own thing almost. Would you dress differently if you were in the Matrix? Probably, yeah. <laughs> what would you wear? What would your Matrix outfit be? I would go with the like the black long black coat and you know it looks mysterious. The black coat, maybe black glasses and like jeans. 
I think I would go with a lot of chains. I feel like chains are very heavy in this world. Yeah. And I, I, I'm really not wearing them simply because they are cold and heavy. Yeah. But uh, I would, if I was in that universe, I'd wear a lot of a lot of chains. And chains, I guess they could. They could make a statement also if maybe like you're strong because chains are heavy. If you wear a lot of chains, it means you're kind of a strong person. Something like that. Yeah, well, also, you could use them as, uh, as re remember, I think uh, Neo, they do do this. Remember, matter isn't real in the Matrix, and the better you are, like, the more in tune with the Matrix you are, the more you understand that. That's why uh, Neo doesn't carry a gun, because he doesn't need to. He can manipulate matter in the universe. So, I could use the chains as a weapon. True. Uh, they would be slightly heavier in my mind, at least. I know Neo uses his coat as a weapon because it's the same as his hand because everything is the same as everything in his mind. Yeah, I, I, I forgot how, how, how plot twisty the Matrix can be. <laughs> it gets so deep. That's where I think it gets the bad reputation. It's not necessarily that it's, it's not a solid movie. I think it's just incredibly dorky. Yeah, and, and it's really like high-level nerd shit. Yeah. And you, you kind of have to... You have to pay very close attention to everything that's going on because if you don't, you'll get lost. Yeah, yeah. Purposefully. Purposefully. Yeah. So yeah, make uh, it's definitely its own thing for sure. I, I, I think that it, 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 it could have its own series, uh, uh, and could still. I mean, obviously, it's based. I told someone the other day, I got in an argument with them about the Matrix, and I was like, "Well, it's all stolen from Ghost in the Shell in the first place." So, calm down. Yeah, you're right. It's basically the same thing. Do you, how would you feel if you were entirely a robot? Have you ever wanted a robot part of your body? I have not. I think a robot eye. Would be would be fun, but I don't really have vision problems. I have very good eyes, but the idea of I think Google Glass seems very appealing to me. Having a scouter, um, but uh, <laughs> I knew they never got to. This all time. What happened to Google Glass? Is it still a thing, or did they just kind of not happen? Um, I have learned a really interesting thing about Google Glass for a while. So, um, it, along with VR, there's like this theory. Uh, this isn't the thing I learned recently, but there's this theory that tech that doesn't make it is on this scale where people are sort of interested and it either slopes to one side. It has a tipping point where where everyone is very interested in it means that it will either flop astronomically or do really well. Um, so VR right now is on this tipping point where it's like everyone's into it. We don't know which way it's going to flop. But uh, Google Glass, they apparently, this is what I learned recently, paid people. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Are we good, uh, record? They paid people to uh, wear it in, like, like they do with liquor sometimes. Like, like that's what Kim Kardashian does for a living. Right, yeah. She just goes to a bar and drinks a certain liquor. Yeah, it is paid for. <laughs> yeah, that's what they did with Google Glass. They did the exact same thing. Yeah, I, like, I, I remember seeing people on, like, I watched a lot of CNET. People talking about it, people were wearing them, and it was a big thing. And all of a sudden, there was no more Google Glass. It was gone. You know what I you think, what I think happened? happened? They were all wearing them, and then, and then they, got they got into a fight, and they, and checked, and they checked their Google, Google Glass, Glass, and they were like, and they were what, like what does your Google Glass say? And they were like, they were like it's, it's over 9,000, and then they crushed, <laughs> crushed the scouter. That, 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 that sounds very plausible. So, I'll go with that. Someone, 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 someone pointed out that, that, that them, that them, that them, that them that I, obviously it's symbolic that Vegeta crushes the scouter. That he's saying, he's saying like, these, 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 we can't, we can't rely, rely on these anymore. anymore. But someone, but someone did, did point out, out it, is it is still pretty expensive, expensive technology, technology, and it could have been useful in a lot of other ways. I mean, it could have been, but, you know, he he chose to use his own way. Yeah that's, yeah, that's Vegeta. Vegeta. I also, I, also I, guess, I guess, I guess they, I guess they could have picked, picked it up too, right? right? Yeah. Like the, 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 the scouter in the hands of the enemy might have been very dangerous. Yeah, that's true. I never, never thought about that. Did, yeah. I, I actually saw a, a, one of those recently at a store online, and I thought about buying it. I was like, oh. it's kind of expensive, but I was, I was thinking. About it. I saw one too. I saw a really, saw a really good one, and I also went through the same yeah. struggle. If I honestly, if I wore glasses, which I don't, I would wear a monocle that looked like a scouter. Oh, that that, that would be amazing. I'm very surprised people that wear glasses don't make scouters that they can put their uh, prescriptions. And see, I wear glasses, so now I feel bad. Honestly, honestly, if you you, sh you should you should you should do it. <laughs> How? That sound, that sound Even if you just have two scouters for yes. reading, just for at home, just for at home. Just for at home. Yeah. 
That would, that would, that would be epic. <laughs> it would be. It would be great. I, I say do it. Uh, I think I might try that. <laughs> uh, what else did we talk about the first time? Um, I'm trying to think what your topics were. Talk about One Piece and that new movie. Oh, that, let's oh, talk, that, about, let's that talk about that again, because I think that's not a, a spur of the moment thing. I think my theory fits. Yeah. Okay, we can go with that. Um, so, go ahead. so yeah, I mentioned how the new trailer had the gold liquid flowing through like a maze almost, and it kind of just says one piece film gold. There's no real information, but that gold kind of stands out as the main main thing of the movie. And my theory, and my is, theory is is that uh, this is uh, a, a, a duplicate of. Uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 2, and, and that we're going to see sort of a solid forming of either, not really a pirate, not really a pirate nation, which sort of does exist in One Piece, one piece but uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, 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 a sect of pirates turns into a real, turns into a real nation, nation, and people stop, becoming, stop becoming pirates. This is the end of the pirates, as, as two and three illustrates. You know, that as they become more powerful, it just makes sense that they're no longer pirates anymore. And that makes sense, because to a point, you have to kind of stop being pirates and start living, I guess, a normal life, in a sense. They, they touch, they, on, they the touch on these themes a little in the show. For the most part, in One Piece, um, um, they are so... so that pirates, that pirates are so abound, are so abound yeah. that none of them get powerful enough for real nations, for real nations to really, to really like, 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 like go after, go after them, them enough. enough. But, uh, um, but uh, um, I would I would assume that this is what's going to happen, is that uh, they are big enough to be, once you become a big enough pirate, it doesn't really work. It, uh, thieving on a global scale, for example, is just conquest. Then you, you're a, you're a, you're a, you know, you're a tiller yeah, exactly. hunt. You're not just yeah. a pirate. And so, there has to be a stopping point somewhere to where you don't cross that line. I've never seen. I've, never seen, I've only really watched, watched the show of One Piece, so I'm sure there's someone grabbing their head, grabbing their head being like, "Oh, they did this." But, um, but um, uh, I, I've, I've never seen the movies, but they they, 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 haven't, they, really they haven't really chosen a big direction on on these sort of things. So I would be interested to see what what they do. I've seen a few of the movies, uh, and the movies kind of have their own fat plots to them, almost, but they're kind of okay. separate from what, okay. they, what the anime is actually. What was the one you saw? What was the one you saw? Um, what was the plot of it? What was the plot of it? Do there you was remember? this princess in this like sand kingdom, and they go to rescue her. And there's corruption in the kingdom, and like her father's a king, but he's really corrupt, and things like that. That's what I figured. I figured that's what I figured. I figured they were more adventure movies, so that they. That's what, so that they, that's what uh, Cowboy Bebop yeah. did too. Was that the movies were? Was that the movies uh, were? It just uh, really it was just weird missions, really weird that, missions that, that, that won't really, really affect what's going on in the rest of, yeah. of oh, the world. Man, uh, oh man, uh, maybe I'll, uh, do you it's know, a it's a series out, right? that's coming out, right? Uh, or a movie. Or a um, movie. Of One Piece. Of, of One Piece, sorry. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll catch that. Maybe I'll start catching, because we were so, we were saying before about uh, the casual anime, that if you get too caught up in one anime, it becomes stressful to watch everything. So One, one Piece is one of my casual ones. Casual. What else is a casual um, for you? One, I watch Detective Conan. It's a casual. Which one? Detective Which one? Conan. Oh, I never, oh did I never did that. Is it worth it? Is, it's really good. It's, it's almost law and order in anime form. That is cool. That is cool. I'm trying to think of, trying to think of other like straight cop shows I watch in uh, in, uh, in, in, form, in anime like form, like more slim more slimmed down. Uh, hmm. I can't I can't think of too many right now. Oh, that would be a great. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say this. Maybe I should save this to pitch <laughs> to pitch them. But I'll say it anyway. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, but it's like Jag. So it's just the lawyers. How cool would that be? Hmm. That. That could, that could work, actually. Because you don't see a lot of the court system. Obviously, it's it's military court, so it's a lot different, but that would be a really fun kind of show. Kind NCIS meets Full Metal Alchemist, almost. No, no, no. Well, I mean, no, no, no. Well, I, that would be, yes, that would be cool as well. Because I think that's what Al, there is one episode. I think it's the pilot of Brotherhood, is that they sort of make it seem like that's what Al's job is. Ed and Al's job is to be MCIS. And then they abandon that completely. They did the episode of Brotherhood, and they never go back to it again. Totally forgot. They never. The first episode is that show. You're right. It's just totally 
it's just totally NCIS. He shows up to a crime scene and they never do that again. Dumb. Uh, Dumb. But I was saying, like, because there's that whole military uh, 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 element to, to brother to brotherhood especially. Um, so maybe it's like people on trial, you know, like there's definitely maybe maybe before Ed and Al. Um, are really a big thing. Maybe we see them like, like sort of cursorarily and like, it's just while, while, uh, what's his name? I don't want to spoil anything. What the Fuhrer, his like rise to, to, to fame after the war. That, that, that could be a good idea. How, I'm not sure how long they would let that go. Maybe 20 episodes could, could wrap it up pretty well. It could be a good OVA. It could be a good OVA. And there, there and, and there, there would definitely be plenty of people on trial after, after the big war, right? Like, war, right? like there's a lot less alchemists, alchemists now. Like, a lot of them die. Yeah, they, they, they kill a lot in Brotherhood. Yeah, and it could be good yeah. to, like, and it could you, know, could be good to like, you know, I bet the Fuhrer frames like, some people. Did. Like, he definitely it did. Be, it, would be a, it would be a good story. Yeah, that, that's not a bad idea to kind of pitch and make. <laughs> maybe, we <shouldn't laughs> maybe we shouldn't have said it. Oh no! <laughs> we, messed <it> up. <laughs> we messed it up. Now everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, somebody's gonna make it sooner or later. Well, we'll get we'll, well, get, credit we'll get we'll get credit in the end. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 like, it's like how uh, it's, it's how, like how, uh, how uh, the guys know, from Stuff You Should Know uh, invented um, uh, Sharknado. Uh, Sharknado. Uh, so we'll get we'll, uh, we'll get credit. So we'll get, we'll, we'll get credit. Right, Don't worry about it. I'll take credit. Uh, another uh, anime, another I've anime I've watched casually over the years is, um, is Bleach. I started, Bleach. Out, as I started out as a diehard Bleach, Bleach person because it's so much like DBZ. Yeah. Like but I, someone, but sat, I, someone sat me down one day and, 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 and said, you know, said, said, you know they said, you can't, you, 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 you really can't. You, you really if you're going to enjoy, uh, you're gonna enjoy you anime, you really can't be obsessed with these 300 long episode arcs every time. <laughs> and, and that was that was the first one where I had to concede because I love Bleach, but I can't. Have you have you just finished can't. Bleach? No, okay. because no, because I because I love it so much, yeah, and I don't want to, I don't want to, to get full. I'm either going to do it all the way or or keep it the way well, it is if, right now. If you ever decide and, to finish, it, I don't recommend the ending at all. It's I'll come back on. I'll come back on. Let, how about that? I'll come back that, when that, I finish. That's perfect. It won't take me long. It I, won't take me long. I I have told people I, on record that I uh, uh, accidentally watched Dragon Ball GT. Just by accident. Yeah, I had no idea. Just, I, I, had no I, had no idea. idea. I was gonna. I had no I idea. I, I started watching, <laughs> and all of a sudden I was like, I'll yeah, just keep, keep watching, and, and uh, yeah, whatever. And yeah, whatever. And then here I go, and then oh, oh my, I finished this entire series. Yeah, do, do, do you like GT? Um, I think it has a bad rap. I think there's a lot. There's a lot wrong with it. Um, obviously, uh, uh, obviously uh, uh, I had to skip the theme song. song. That's yeah, the main yeah, thing wrong song. with it. I think a bad theme song. Yeah, they never changed it. Either, they never which changed it either, which shows, which always shows uh, to me uh, 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 an, an anime series that, series that I mean, is Dragon not Ball interested. I mean, Dragon Ball Z mostly kept its, its it theme throughout. It changes but slightly, the but they change the animation sequence lots, lots yeah. of times. And they, in GT, they never change the base animation sequence. They put in clips, but they never, they never change the actual, uh, they never added new animation just for the opening, which, which shows that the creators themselves had a lack of effort. And like, it, like, it, it does have a bad rep. I, I mean, I didn't think it was a horrible series. It wasn't great. But they they are sort of publicly now saying it's you know I know that Dragon Ball Super is sort of Toriyama saying like it, 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 we, none of us are happy about it. And so, have, you, have you seen Super? I am saving Super and Ghost in the Shell AF for a weekend where or Ghost in the Shell Resurrection when it would AF and Resurrection. I'm saving those for. A, uh, a weekend where I can, weekend where really, I can dig in. really you know, dig no, in. Super, Super is getting dubbed. Hey, oh, really? So yeah. hey, oh, really? So, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, wait for that. It's supposed to be on Tanami coming up next year. Oh, okay. Then I'll so, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I'll wait. Fine. I'll wait. Cause, that's cause, fine. Because cause, 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 cause I was only going to do it if you're the second person to bring it up to me. So, what I normally do, this is a real rule, is by the third person, I cannot not watch it. So, even though. But Goku uh, would be hard to switch out yeah, of. Yeah. The Japanese uh, voice you know. Goku's I, 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 pretty. It's not bad. The voice actor's just voice is really high. Hi. So this is 
Hi. So this is one of the things that we were talking uh, earlier about dubs versus subs. And I think dubs are a beautiful thing. I think they're the only reason we know about Japanese culture. But people point out two big examples to me. One is um, the accents. Once you learn the regional accents for Japan, characters become easier to understand um, when you watch in Japanese. And secondly, and secondly, the childlike innocence of Goku and the, the ridiculousness of Goku being taken seriously is a joke completely lost on an American audience. Because if you don't hear how high his voice is, you, uh, you, you are very confused as to why when he shows up for a battle, nobody, everybody's like, shut up. You know, like, like, it doesn't make sense with our dub because... He very is a gruff, yeah. very classical, leading man, leading man voice, and he's muscular. But when he shows up, he's like, oh, and he's got a, a tiny yep. two-foot friend <laughs> and, and a clown. <laughs> he's not going to intimidate right. This is my first time watching Dragon Ball Z in Japanese, and it's, it's it definitely catches you off guard, that's for sure. I think there's a deeper meaning in it, and I definitely think the Japanese version is closer to the spirit of Goku, especially in... I think that if, if, if you watched Dragon Ball and then watched Dragon Ball Z, you would see almost no connection in the American version, but I think with that voice interpretation, it's very obvious that they are the same show, that it is still Silly Goku, and it's, 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 it's the same little, little boy that you met all those years ago, while as our version... It's like, no, he's grown up and it's time, yeah, it's to, time to murder. Yeah, fight, fight, and fight some more. Yeah. <laughs> Does he kill anyone? Does he kill anyone uh, in, uh... Because he fights, um... In Dragon Ball, like, he, right? He's, he, fighting, he, mostly he, he's fighting mostly the robot and army. And he kills... And he kills... Is, is Piccolo, his is King Piccolo his first I kill? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's a that's, yeah, a, that's, that's a, a that's a very that's a very heavy voice element voice that's sort of lost yeah. on you too voice, when you get rid of that, voice, rid of that yeah. voice, isn't it? I'm in a way I can't. Do I'm in a way I can't switch. do it. I can't. I never <laughs> switch. Like that's bleach. bleach that, that's another reason uh, that uh, I, I really uh, I, I really had to take bleach, bleach casually too. I started, too, is, I started with that in oh Japanese. Because when I started watching, I don't think it was available on Netflix in English all the way to the end. And I was like gonna dig in. I tried bleach. Sub once or twice. The the text was just too fast for me to kind of catch up with. I was reading it and I was getting lost and I have to pause and pause and read and yeah, I, I stopped bleach. I stopped it that way. <laughs> I think as you get I think as you get that that's a, that is a problem initially when, a initially when there's a lot of exciting things I think uh, how far did you get I don't want to I, I guess I who's going to ruin the leech but um essentially when they spend more when he's at home in the the first saga um when he when he's living uh, still at home uh, it is a little different difficult when they're at school there's a lot of actions there's a lot of cutting from different scenes when he spends more time in the spirit world it's a lot easier because a, a lot of the fun of the spirit world is just like learning the rules of of um, of this whole dimension that he's a part of and, and learning everyone's backstories and it is more like a motion uh, comic book manga but I would agree at first it's it's rough with He's at school, and it's the sister talking, and it's the mom talking, and it's a ghost talking. It's it's a lot of stuff at one time. But yeah, it does. And one thing about Bleach that does make it good is the backstory of the characters. Everybody has a kind of own unique backstory that makes makes them kind of stand out. They they have. I think it's one of the deepest backstories out of all of the animes, if I'm being honest. One thing I've always been confused about, though, is with Soul Reapers. They never really explain how they die, or are they already dead, or what's what's the situation with Soul Reapers? Okay, so they, okay, that's, so you they that. that's, that's you got to get to that. That's the fun stuff. Uh, is um, uh, 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 Ryoku, uh, whatever uh, the girl's name that yeah. that she meets yeah. that he's replacing. Um, they eventually go into her backstory, and her backstory, her backstory, and and her backstory explains all, the all about the idea of of, of existence and non-existence and and. Uh, and you know where they actually are. Um, it, 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 it's it's actually it comes off as one of those series where you think they planned it off in the beginning. You, you know, it's it's a very deep story. I, 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 mean, I missed her backstory then. I have to go back and check that. I think that I think that it's pretty shallow at first. I think initially um, they are focusing on the pork quatel of what are ghosts. 
what it, what does it mean when a ghost is here? You know, they're sort of doing their twist on a ghost story, which is which is a whole uh, another genre of anime that I think people like a lot. But uh, because, of that, they sort of, because of that, they sort of, and it's really well done, and it's actually. Really I well done actually. I got to give credit to Bleach for that. A lot of anime series realize, like, realize, like, like, like 100 crap, episodes in, like, oh, crap, we did not explain that at all. Yeah. That, at all. that is just that mysterious not, as to why not, that not happened. Do that. And Bleach. And then they're just like, hey, this is the, like, Dragon Ball Z does that. It's like, well, why can't we go there? Well, that's because if you're with us, oh, so cool. It's like, shut up. You didn't know. <laughs> but Bleach very artfully, you know, uh, sets up this story that is like, oh, the reason that happens is because no one would talk about it to you, or, or or it's not something you would bring up, or it's not even better, which is a really logical reason, is that it's not polite. You just simply don't ask. Yeah, you just kind of play out on his own. Yeah, and so um, it's it's really well done. I'll, I'll definitely go back and check that out though. This was a ball. This was a ball. I am unfortunately running out of time, but this, even on the second time, this was another like the, great it, it conversation. Actually, it felt more comfortable this time. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It was. I think it was serendipity that we that the first call got messed up. And I would love to come back on. I'll finish bridge. I'm gonna get on it. I got a flight. I got a flight coming up. All right, you welcome back anytime. Please. Please. And thank you, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. So you want me? You want me to plug? So you want me? You want me to plug? Go right here. Go right here. So everything I do, I'm Mike Fallick. Everything's at ourherocomic.com. You can search not your, not my, our hero comic. .com, or you can search that on Twitter, or you can search that on any social media, or Mike Fallick, whatever it is. I have a podcast called WWDFM. Um, you can search that on iTunes, where I meet all of my guests on dating apps. So uh, check that so, out. So uh, check that out. It's a it's a really and fun time. The time and when this, by the time this recording comes out, my fundraising campaign for my, campaign fundraising tag, campaign for my movie Tag, which is an animated movie in itself, a stop motion movie tag. about the game Tag being a professional sport. Uh, it's going to be cool, uh, actiony, and a whole new wave of really of stop motion that's really taking animation after uh, animation uh, an anime rather than, rather than after stop motion. Is that it? That is. That is. There's, I can keep going, but that right. is pretty much it. I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you for being on. All right, I will talk to you later. All right, I will talk All to right, you, you later. Can. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.